How's it going? This is Nick with Big Iron Fabrications. Seeing old Rich from Beat Boss Garage is putting on an international quarantine car show, so I figured I'd enter my rusty old rig into it, see if we could win something. Alright, so this is Ghost. It's my 1966 uh, Ford F100 running a clapped out 240 inline 6 with a 3 speed. Uh, 3 speed used to be on the Calm. Previous owner uh, swapped it out for a floor shift. Uh, body works not terribly bad, at least the stuff that you can see. Floorboards are, well, pretty well shot. So you're going to be seeing a video eventually of me placing floorboards, uh, cab supports up underneath, new cab mounts. Uh, probably do, probably do a little body work on this because it looks like either something hit it or it hit something. Uh, bought this truck back in August 2019 had it for well a little while now haven't really got to do much because of school and work and well now with all this coronavirus crap and i don't currently have a job right now uh you'll probably be seeing me do a little bit more work on it uh truck was originally holly green and it got uh barnyard restoration on it which uh, i mean they tried <laughs> they tried uh this is where the original mirrors used to be. Someone put a set of tow mirrors on it, then removed them and didn't even bother welding the holes. That's why we got these crappy little hot rod mirrors I hate. Can't see shit out of them. Like I said, the poor old things are under clapped out 240 inline line 6. Uh, I happen to know that the head gasket is blown on it. Uh, intake and exhaust manifold gaskets are probably also blown. Uh, it's running a Carter YF single barrel carb on it. Uh, exhaust needs completely redone it's shot i mean i don't know if you can see that wicked sweet hole right there that's where they passed some uh, ac lines that had a gm ac uh system on it at one point i yanked that out so i'm gonna have to get that hole fixed because uh all the exhaust fumes go straight into the cab uh, floor pans are rotted out on it so we're gonna have to get those fixed I don't know if you'll be able to see it down here, but cab mounts are starting to go. And we got a, a nice hole you can see right into the interior right there. So we'll definitely have to uh, pull this front end off at some point and we're gonna replace all that good junk that way. So, you know, it's not a complete death trap. It's still be a death trap, but not a complete one. All right, moving on to the interior. The uh, the seat's not in great shape, but it's not as bad as uh, some of the other seats I've seen. Um, mouse have have been in this truck. Uh, as you can see, there's a fucking mouse nest the size of Texas that came out of the uh, vent for the air box. There's uh, that nice big hole I was telling you about. Like I said it used to be column shift. Now it's been converted down to the floor, which I like that a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, they hacked my dash for a bigger radio and then decided to steal the radio because they're fucking assholes. Uh, glove box is completely, you know, missing the inside of it. Uh, floor pans are shot. Like I said, you can probably see a big old hole right there. That's not the worst of it. That's not the worst of it. Oh, yeah, she's, she's rotten. And the thing is... That's not the original floor pans either. The original floor pans are still underneath it. They just took some uh, sheet metal, put down over top of it, bent into shape, and weld her in. As you can see, that one right there too. So I'm gonna have to fix that. New floor pans. Uh, still got the tank behind the seat, which I mean, it's working. Uh, I'm eventually at some point going to put the gas tank up underneath the bed. But that's going to be a little bit further down the road and want to swap out this motor. I don't know exactly how much of this you'll be able to see. I'm going to try to do the best I can. Uh, this is the original floor pan up underneath the truck. And uh, well, as you can tell, she's a little rotten. So is the, the floor support here in the back. Now, the worst part of it is, is, sorry, that right there. I'm trying to control my phone and the GoPro and point you at everything that needs to be pointed at at the same time. Uh, 
that's the worst part of the floorboard right there and I don't know what the fuck they did it's like they just used house silicone to oh yep yeah, there we go it's like they just used house silicone to like kind of hold everything together here's a nice big old pile of rust right there he's pretty rough going further on to the back you can see my emergency brake cables are disconnected and I currently don't have an emergency brake handle or release in the cab so I'm gonna have to replace that uh, brakes right now are kind of locked up I got a, a, a wheel cylinder that I think is seized so I'm gonna have to get that figured out uh, I don't know how well you can see it you probably can't but right up underneath there we've got the original exhaust pipe going up to the manifold that uh, has been <laughs> Uh, expanded to looks probably about a two inch going into a splitter then goes into duels out the back which I mean it doesn't sound terrible you know for running on four and a half cylinders uh, but that's going to need to get replaced in fact I can see a big blown out hole right there in the original exhaust pipe so that's going to have to get fixed uh, the floor pans on the other side are just as bad uh, all the I beam suspension I'm going to replace that there's a guy near me it has a 73 f100 with uh, disc brakes I think I'm gonna buy it because he's he's asking like stupid cheap for it so I'm gonna swap out the 302 and the disc brakes to put on this truck and then uh, figure out where we're gonna go from there so right there we've got the uh, driver's side upper shock mount in the rear that uh, I mean, she's completely eight. I'm going to have to cut those rivets, pop that out, and try to find a new uh, bracket for it. And I honestly just need to replace the shocks anyways. Uh, as you can tell, the pinion seals are absolutely fucking shot with the nice coat of uh, gear oil all up underneath the bed of my truck. Good news is, at least that spot's not going to rust out. Uh, oh, hey, wonderful. The bleeder cap is gone sweet um you know it's a little rusty up underneath here the bed's not no uh, bed's not completely terrible um i've seen a lot worse so we'll have to some point pull this bed off and we'll probably layer upside down and i'll hit this all with a wire wheel and get it cleaned up and put some uh either some por 15 or i'll get it undercoated one of the two probably go with por 15 stuff looks a little better uh, you can see a little bit further down there she's uh, she's a mite bit nasty you can see all the self tappers where they uh, put a gasket in right behind, right underneath where they uh, did the floor conversion for the shifter uh, you can probably see that hole in the exhaust a little bit better but there's that that Y pipe that they put in that's just I mean that's that's mint. All right, so you're probably wanting to know what the, the build plans are for this truck. Uh, initially, it's going to stay off pretty well stock. Um, since the 240's got the compression issues on 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 5, and 6 is low, but I'm not as worried about those. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yank the head off this truck, uh, replace the head gasket, and I'm going to replace the intake and exhaust manifold gaskets. Uh, run new exhaust system. Uh, LMC truck has an exhaust system for it for like 150 bucks, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the cash on that. Um, the wiring in this is totally shot. I mean, if you haven't noticed, I've got my blower motor hanging out on the seat with me. Uh, it doesn't work. I guess when these people who owned it before me had put in their aftermarket radio or newer radio maybe out of like a 70s truck or something they they botched the wires in it i mean it's it's shot so i'm gonna get uh speedway's got a 12 circuit wiring harness for like 150 bucks too go ahead and get that get everything rewired make sure it's good electrically and then uh, we're gonna go from there future plants and this is the part that i'm really excited about it will get a Crown Vic independent front suspension swap. Rear end's going to get the Mark 8 independent rear suspension swap. 
I'm gonna put the uh, dual overhead cam 4.6 out of like a 98 or so uh, Mark 8. She's gonna get hopped up a little bit. It's gonna get um, at some point when I had the money and you know I've got that motor bulletproofed. Uh, well, not maybe not bulletproof, but at least where it won't come apart under uh, duress, it's gonna get turboed. And I think that's gonna be really freaking fun. Uh, Body-wise, it's going to be fairly stock. It's going to get painted a different color. Um, I think I'm going to go with like a pearlescent black or uh, do a, a phantom black metallic as a color that I found that I really like. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, plans for this truck. The 240, when I yank it out and replace the motor, I'm going to keep that because I've got a fun idea. I want to find another one of these trucks, probably like a 64 with a straight axle in the front. I want to take out this 240 and build it up and turbo it, and we're going to build a drag truck. I think that'll be pretty freaking awesome. So, those are the plans. You know, you've seen around the truck. Sorry if this video wasn't very entertaining or, you know, very well uh, composed. I don't... I... I I don't really make YouTube videos anymore. I used to when I was in high school, but I'm gonna get back into it. I eventually would like to see this channel grow. Uh, we can do some more uh, fabricating, build some awesome hot rods, you know, go out and have some fun. So if you guys want, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click on the little bell too, that way you get some notifications. I don't know, you know, how often I'm gonna be able to upload videos, but, uh, with all this coronavirus crap, I'm kind of out of work right now anyway, so I can, I can probably get a few cranked out here in uh, about a week or so. So uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you like the uh, International Quarantine Car Show that uh, old Rich from D-Boss Garage is putting on. I think it's going to be fun. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, for the International Quarantine Car Show, I've entered two categories. I've entered factory that's going to be judged by uh, Derek from Vice Grip Garage and uh, the, what was the other one, the fucking mint category that's uh, being judged by old Peg from Zip Ties and Bias Supplies. Uh, go ahead and give uh, the Boss Garage a watch, give Vice Grip a watch, and uh, give old Zip Ties and Bias Supplies a watch. I'll put all their channels uh, down in the description. Alright, I'll catch you all later. Bye.